Morning everyone. Can everybody hear the bush chorus as we call it in Australia? Um, when the sun comes up, all the birds kick in. Ah, should be a good day today. That is a really good cast. First up, we're onto it today fam, from the very, very outset. When you've got a nice big bait like this, they usually take a lot longer to defrost than smaller baits, okay? So see how I've only can move that part of the tail? That's defrosted up to there, so we need to put it back in the water. And just make sure it doesn't float off. Absolutely beautiful morning, fam. This is the first uh, morning that we've actually had a little bit of heat in the morning. At the end of winter, leading up to the first few days of springs, the morning can be quite cold. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all good fun. When you can bend your fish, you know that they're defrosted, so this one's ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into three baits. So I'm gonna cut the belly off here. When you cut um, big fish for strip baits, right, you just draw a line from that side fin to that anal fin there across, okay? And then that's one cut that you can do, right? Boom. <clears throat> there you go. So the belly fat and the belly is a very good bait. And what we'll do now, right, is we'll get another three baits out of this. So we'll take a fillet from that side, a fillet from that side, and then we'll put the backbone out with the carcass, okay? Now, this has the most odor on the fish because it's the belly. Right, we'll chuck that out in the middle too. Now, on your fish that don't have a um, meat or protein based diet, they usually, or most other fish too, usually have a lining on the stomach, okay? Doesn't really make any difference. Did we have a bite then, fam? I think we had a bite then, and I missed it. You will catch brim on strip baits too. Nope. No, come on, not today. Hang on. I'm trying not to hit this line, fam. So then he casts it around there. Come on. I've just scared every fish in here, probably. Let me just put this away first and then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, actually, no, that should be all right. Right. That is a really good cast too. Nicely, nicely. This is actually a tidal river. So with the low tide where we are, as the tide goes out to the ocean, this sort of fills up with fresh. And then when the high tide comes in, it's more salt. So usually it's a mixture and it goes up and down all the time. Might have to go for this long range cast, Famo. Oh, we got a bite, lovely. There we go, Famo. Good, 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 good. First fish of the day. Good fish. Come on. Good fish. Hello, beautiful. First fish of the day, fam. Told you it's good to fish a high tide, didn't I? And notice how with it being salt. Okay. All right. Got one out of the snag there. Lovely. What a beautiful fish. Let's have a look. What a great way to start the day. 37. Woohoo! See you, sunshine. No, 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 no. No, that way. That way. Fish drown in air. The other thing that you've got to worry about too is because they're accustomed to being suspended. Notice how whenever I pick up fish, I pick them up from underneath and hold the belly. That's because in water they're suspended. And with, excuse me, the pressure of the water, it tends to keep them together. As Soon as you take them out of the water, the belly tends to hyperextend. Okay, so um, 
what you need to do out of the water and it's called a cushion grip like that so this on this side this holding the belly there right there's the fish quick weight lucky if the fish is out of the water for 10 seconds all right and when you put it back in the water it's still wet you know what i mean it hasn't dried out because the moment it starts to dry out especially the gills areas where it flares out and that sort of stuff it's going to have problems you know lovely cast oh all right fam all right we got another one coming we got another one coming there's another one there rightio i think we have anyway i felt a slight little eh. the worst thing you can do when you've got that first little bite when it picks it up and swims with it the big big brim will pick up a bait and just drop it right pick up a bait drop it pick up a bait drop it you know but um whatever you do don't move your bait whatever it takes just don't move the bait you'll get the smaller ones with the bigger ones if you move the bait they're off right now i've got a funny feeling that just picked it up then dropped it when you set a fishing hook right you always set the fishing hook either with a hand line or your fishing rod by lifting the rod vertically and holding it there whammo fishers mouths usually are like this okay so they're like two tri triangles on top of each other right so with that, if you set the hook to the side, either left or right, okay, what'll happen is you're trying to set the hook in an area, okay, where you've got less of the fish's mouth to work with. At least if you lift it vertically, even if the fish is slightly side on, it'll just go straight up, okay, and it'll lodge in the meatiest part of the mouth at the front. Sometimes they'll feel the tension and they'll turn when that happens. You'll still get them in the side of the mouth, fam. So that's why these people that do these strikes along the water and that, it's just for show off. Don't do it, okay? Sit there, there's a bite, whammo. Every single time I set the hook, that last uh, hook set wasn't the best because it swam before me and I brought the rod too far back. Eh, we still got it, right? But, yeah, so most fish's mouths, even flathead, flathead are slightly rounder like that okay all righty you still have less of an area to work with on the edge of the fish's mouth you need to drive it straight into the roof of the mouth of the fish okay i'm gonna put a couple of uh little bean sinkers on there okay and then that way we should be able to fish across the river all right i'm just going to put on a little fillet of muley now concealing the bait Sorry, the hook in the bait reasonably well. All right, let's see how we go. We've got our two sinkers on there. So now we would be able to use less effort and get a better cast. Just like that. Oh, we're on. We're on, fam. Good fish. That's a good fish. We're on. Oh, come on. No, get out of there. What a head shake. Come on. Told you it'd work. Come on, fella. I think this is a little bit bigger than the other one. Wet the hands so we don't burn it. Nah, a little bit smaller, is it? Oh. Second brim of the day. And loving it. There we go. There we go. Hey bud, look at that beautiful little fish. Quick measure. All right, this one is 33. Back it goes. See bud. No, you like Bruce. The water's that way. Two. Hmm. Yes, great cast. Now let me show you something fam. When you bait your hook, you always try and match the size of your bait right to the size of the hook all righty now see here we have a thin part to this bait because it's near the head of the fish and that's where the stomach is we've got the thick part it's a bit hard to conceal a hook right in the thin part of a bait but see here how i've put it in through the thin part and now we put it through here see how i can see how i can conceal that hook on the bait and when the fish bites that, the point will come through and we've got it. Well, that's the theory anyway, unless the same thing happened as last time. So our season's only really going to open up in the next couple of weeks, 
right once these um, winter... Oh, we're on! We're on! Oh, did you see that? It took the rod! It took the rod, fam! It took the rod out of the chair! Did you see that? Third brim of the day. Third brim of the day, fam. Now I've wet my left hand. See how I'm cushioning the fish? Right. There we go. Another beautiful Western Australian black brim, famo. Right, we've got a 37 and a 33. This one's a 35. It's all odd numbers today. In you go, son. Yeah, yeah, that way. Not like Bruce and George, that way. Did you see it rip the rod out of the chair? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Ha ha. Yes, it's him. Or her! Ha ha ha! Ha! Oh no, it's a bit smaller. <laughs> yes, told you I wasn't mucking around. Hey, come back! <clears throat> Is it me you're looking for? No, that's a Lionel Richie line. More sleepless nights. No, it's not. It's the smaller one. Right, oh famo. Fourth fish of the day. Now, this is why I don't like using long leaders, but anyway. All right, now I've got to get the hook and release. Hang on. Right. Now, this fish is going to be out of the water for a bit longer than normal because it swallowed the hook. Right. A little bit of surgery. Come on, get in there. But, ah, uh, best thing for these, fam. Oh. Lovely. 34. We have an even. See you, bud. Or most of your smaller species invest in one of these Baker hookouts. Right, that fish had swallowed the hook, grabbed the hook, pushed down, twisted, took it out. The hook came out straight away. It's ensured the survival of the fish. Okay. And then that way, there's no mortality when you're fishing. So these, they do a longer one as well. Um, great little product, stainless steel. Okay, and I've lost count of how many times I've used this to take the um, hook out of fish that have swallowed the hook. Right, this is a good one. Oh, yes. This is a... Oh, it got off. No. <laughs> oh, I had it. I had it. That was a different fish, Huntress, all right? <laughs> oh. The weight of that, that was actually, no, seriously, I'm not saying missed to cover my tracks, but that was actually, it felt much heavier than the other big one. Oh man, this thing's smarter than a junkyard rat. Notice how we're getting instant hookups. Right, as soon as I feel the bite on this. <sighs> there, got ya. Okay, not this time, sucker. Uh, not this time, sucker. All right, we're hooked, all right. Good work. Oh, that's a good-sized fish, fam. Don't lose it at your feet. Whew. What a lovely fish. Oh, come on. Now, that's a bit bigger, isn't it? It's still not the one that I dropped from before, though. All right, famo, we're getting into the 40s now. And that's not a reference to a couple of people in chat. That's the fish that we've caught today. Beautiful fish. Okay. Yep. 42. Right, and see how they're spawning at the moment? Let's let that go. See you later. All right, so we've got a 34. A 35, a 37, and a um, 42 centimetre brim. Right. That big one's still out there. I think I might have to make... Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish too, fam. That's a good fish too. We're on a really good fishing session today, famo. Rightio. Come on. Oh, get out of there. 
Good fish, Feb. Great fish. Swimming towards me like a lot of the bigger ones do. That's a good fish too. All right, let's get it. Wet the hands. Bring it in. Oh, I think this one's another one close to 40. Yeah, that's right, Walleye. I've been here, mate. There you go, fam. Another beautiful brim. And that one, 38. Beautiful. Good fish today. See you, bud. See you later. And even though I'm talking to the uh, microphone fam and the community, I'm watching this line like a hawk. Now, we've had a little bit of movement here. So I think the fish has just picked up the bait and dropped it. So we're just gonna wait now, right? That's it. All right, fish on fam. We got another one. All right, let's see what we're doing here, famo. Nice long leader, gets them every time. Oh, that's a bit bigger, come on. It's really fighting and bulldogging this one. Come on. All right. Another beautiful clean, oh, another beautiful clean fish, fam. <clears throat> now, straight out, there you go. See the little gra like rasping plates on it? Okay. 32, this one, a bit smaller. Righto. See you later. Yes, for sure. Now that was a good hit, fam. That was a very good hit. That's a great hit. Come on. That was a great hit. That was an instant set of the hook there. Come on. That was a great hit. Lovely little fish, famo. Lovely little fish. Now I've wet my hand. Alex, how are you? Yeah, there will be, mate. We're going to do a lot more bushwalks. There we go, famo. Another beautiful little West Aussie brim. Okay, 36. We've got everything today. See you, fella. Good work, famo. Well done. So we've got 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Did we get a 38? And we've got a 40 and 42, I think. Soon as I cast that, I thought, yep, that's in the spot, you know? And when the fish hit that bait, right, it hit it without any fear. There was no tentative hit there. Um, technician, all fish have a protective slime or coating. When I wet my hand, okay, to pick the fish up, your hands have um, like acids and oils and fats in them that don't agree with fish. Trout are the worst one. You catch a trout, and I've done this before, and you see someone put a handprint on it, they let the fish go. Three or four weeks later, you'll see the trout swimming around with a handprint fungus on it. Okay, people don't realise the importance of wet hands. Ideally, I should use a wet cloth, but as long as I wet that left hand and pick up that fish with the left hand, it should be okay. Rightio, let's get another one. That'll be okay. She would have liked a bit closer. I, oh, hang on. Oh, we got one. Yep. We got one, fam. We got it. It just took... Get out of there! Get out of the snags. Get out of there. Oh, it's in here now. That was quick. Come on. Oh, it's a good one. What a good fish, fam. This is that big one we were talking about. This is the big one, fam. Oh. Nah, don't, no, don't do that with the brim, Dominic. They, they're too slow growing, mate. They're too slow growing, mate. You won't catch any next time. Do you know how old a fish this is? A fish this year, mate, it's nearly as old as me. Yeah, they're about 40 years old at this size. Yeah, for sure. I was with fisheries when I was younger. There you go, fam. That's that nice big brim that we were trying to get all morning. See? Oh, oh, wow. Tell you what, they don't get any better, do they? So, 
That one's not too bad. 41, fam. Ugh. See you, buddy. That hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Max, how you going? This is big. Oh, this is big. Get out of there. This is big. No drag. What a fish. What a fish. Number 10, fam. Number 10. They're taking the baits quite deep though. Hang on, I've just got to get my hook out. This is a totally different river at high tide, fam. Oh, come on. Don't do that, come on. No. Come on, where is that hook? That's another one that's 41, famo. Right up, buddy. Here you go. All right, see you, bud. Whew. Good fish. Have a lovely day, mate. Never give up, Dom. Never give up, mate. You never know what's around the corner. Oh, I might go up to where the car is and have a fish. There. Fish on that ledge, mate. That You know that the one there where it drops off? Yeah. It's nice and deep, and I dropped a good one in there the other day. Oh, it is, yeah, but in the summer when the water level drops, because that's about 10 metres in there, yeah. and then what they'll do is they'll, you know, they'll just sit there and um, they'll just, um, like, hang out in there because there's no water around. Yeah. All right, mate, you have a lovely day. You Oh, fish and a half. Fish and a half, fam. Oh, fish and a half. Oh, it got off. No, it's here. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Lovely. Oh, it felt like a fish and a half. Well, they're back underneath. This is the smallest one we've caught since we've been here. Whoops. No, no, don't ban anyone. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yep, I'm out of control. Oh, I'm out of control. That's the smallest fish we've caught since we've been here, fam. There you go, bud. That's what you call the dirty dozen. Yes! Thank you very, very much for tuning in today. A big welcome to all the new subscribers and viewers. Thank you very, very much. We've hit 1,500 subscribers today. We've had an absolutely fantastic day releasing a dozen fish, all right? And we've like hooked and lost probably one and a half times that, but that's fishing, okay? Stay safe and stay well. Be the best person you can be every day. 